explosive claims coming from a founder of the Black Lives Matter chapter. It's the final battle! Cancel me, do whatever the heck you want. But I'm always going to state the truth. And the truth today is that Black Lives Matter exploded the death of George Floyd and made millions off of what they call the pain of black people. So, 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 if you check back about two years ago, I made a video trying to explain how Black Lives Matter was a fraudulent organization funded by the deep state Soros money and uh, the No Border uh, Initiative agenda. And, you know, Black Lives Matter was only popular because it was an instrument for the far left extremists to uh, basically cause disruption in America politics and cause a, a lot of attention to things that everybody was already aware of and nobody agreed with. And they used the uh, Black Lives Matter platform. These uh, Democratic liberals and they exploited the black people badly. They exploited the black people. They got millions and millions of dollars. They bought houses all over the world. Went on luxury vacations. I mean, homes in Canada, Cali, and you name it. So, Black Lives Matter got dropped from Amazon. And they all um, is being investigated for a whole bunch of allegations like having false addresses. But I made a video about this probably two years ago. So check down all my videos. I'm going to put the link on this video explaining to you how uh, Black Lives Matter is a fraudulent organization. Do not support it. Do not say it. Do not. And I'm, I'm mad I'm making this video about a fraudulent organization with the title Black Lives Matter. And these are, these are uh, liberal puppets who don't give a hell about black lives. Like that great saying that was said, you scratch the liberal, they come out of fascist. <laughs> so uh, let's listen to a couple of these um, headlines about Black Lives Matter. You know what I mean? Let's let's listen to what's going on in the news, the local news. Matter Global Network Foundation hiring the Clinton campaign lawyer who commissioned the infamous Steele dossier to sort the group's murky finances. The move comes as the foundation is suspended from Amazon's charity website, Amazon Smile, over the group's failure to meet rules of compliance. The foundation was forced to shut down all of its online fundraising earlier this month over delinquent financial disclosures from 2020. Nancy, your thoughts on this partnership? Yeah, I, the uh, the infamous lawyer who's sorting out the uh, infamous financials by changing from a calendar year accounting system to fiscal year so that they don't have to produce six months of of uh, financials for the last year. I, I, I think I think this is going to be a scandal that will continue to rise above uh, the, the the headlines, and that's going to be problematic. Even the black community is is clamoring for funds to be distributed, and those who have lost uh, loved ones through um, violence are asking for the money to be distributed into the community. And we have a disgraced CEO who was on a, a real estate spending binge. Uh, who has left the company rudderless, or the, the foundation rudderless. So I, I, I just think this That's is exactly shameful right. and scandalous. And, and because it is, James, your thoughts? Yeah, I would say the, uh, it looks like the lawyers are going to have to earn their money. So basically, what Black Lives Matter is doing is they're using the Hillary people who covered up the Hillary Foundation. If you know about politics, you know the Hillary Foundation stole millions, millions from the um, Hillary Clinton Foundation, and um, they hired the same lawyer. And this same lawyer, he is like, you know, he, 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 he know how to cover the tracks and prolong, you know, the fraud. 
and try to and make it last long enough for you to get away for it for a lifetime. That's his job. That's what he's been doing for Hillary Clinton because uh, Hillary Clinton Foundation never gave nobody nothing. I think they only gave out about 10% of the annual income to actual, back to actual people they supposed to have been supporting. So basically the same thing with Black Lives Matter. So now they hire the uh, famous lawyer to cover their tracks. Now let's listen to this other video about how Black Lives Matter is a fraudulent organization and is it gave the liberals the um the um roadmap to destroy our youth and our communities. Just listen to this. The explosive claims coming from a founder of the Black Lives Matter chapter in St. Paul, Minnesota. In newly released video, Rashad Turner says he quote Learn the ugly truth, end quote, about the organization. I believe the organization stood for exactly what the name implies. Black lives do matter. However, after a year on the inside, I learned they had little concern for rebuilding black families. And they cared even less about improving the quality of education for students in Minneapolis. Cancel me, do whatever the heck you want. But I'm always going to state the truth. And the truth today is that Black Lives Matter exploited the death of George Floyd and made millions off of what they call the pain of black people. This is simply reprehensible. I just read the Washington Examiner report that said millions are unaccounted for. After all the three original uh, Black Lives Matter leaders have currently resigned, the amount given was 60 million. 60 million, I believe it's probably far more. If, if there's no accountability within Black Lives Matter board and if there's such shadiness within the organization over all the money, then you can bet there's even more money that's being hid. What angers me is how disrespectful and selfish Black Lives Matter is. They claim to care about black people more than anyone, but where are they? I don't see them around here. Believe me. We got plenty of work around here to do. And we would have no problem putting them to work. If Black Lives Matter really matters, then why aren't they here? Do they not see the same weekly headlines that we... It's the final battle!